Her fight to stay alive touched people from across the world. Scotland Commonwealth judo medalist Stephanie Ingalls was given just a 1% chance of survival when she was involved in a horrific motorcycle accident in Vietnam, with the public donating more than £300,000 to help fly her home. Following a remarkable recovery, tomorrow she'll face her final operation when a titanium plate is fitted to her skull. Stephanie has been speaking to Nicola McCallie. You can see that you were switching your attention to and from all the time, so it was quite a complex task. Yeah. Focusing on the future, Stephanie Ingalls has been working hard to get back to full mental and physical fitness since the accident which changed her life forever. Last May, the Commonwealth Judo Silver medalist suffered severe head injuries in a horrific fall from a motorbike taxi in Vietnam while on her way to work as an English teacher, with a trauma leaving her in a coma. Tomorrow, the Inverness athlete will face her final operation when a titanium plate will be fitted into her skull to protect her brain. I'm looking forward just to getting it done and getting it out of the way and then just moving on and recovering and it's just starting to put this all behind me now. Yeah, I am a bit nervous. I mean, it is a head operation. It is quite daunting to think about it. But the way I see it is just I can't wait to get it done. The team behind the operation at the Western General in Edinburgh say there's no doubt Stephanie's sports fitness has helped her remarkable recovery. She was as severely unwell as you can get following traumatic brain injury. Her underlying physical health and her young age undoubtedly contributed to this uh, very good outcome. Stephanie's severe head injuries meant it was a race against time to save her life. When her insurance company refused to pay medical costs, an internet crowdfunder was set up raising a phenomenal £350,000 to pay to fly her home for further treatment. Her parents say once Stephanie's recovered, they hope to set up a support group to help others. People have accidents and they're told that they're not going to walk, they're not going to do this again, they're not going to do that again. You can't just take that at face value. Sometimes you have to fight against the odds. Mm -hmm. So our thing is don't give up. Stephanie expects to be in hospital for at least a week following the major procedure. She says she can't wait to get back into her sport and is already setting her sights on a professional return in the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Durban. You have to be the top seven if, if in females in Scotland and I do think I'm capable of doing that. And if I qualify, I don't see why a medal isn't within my reach either. So I'm looking forward to going after that. Nicola McCallie, STV News.